There you are. So, how many of you here have uh, used computers, uh, not used computers, but know what computer science is? Quick show of hands. Good. So, today uh, we're going to use a uh, short sneak peek uh, into what the various things we can do with computers. Uh, we call it bit by bit in the world of bikes. And a short intro about us. So, I'm doing my MS in computer science at Columbia. Previously, did my undergrad from IIT Bombay in India. I worked at BlackRock, um, a bunch of companies like BlackRock, Amazon, Electronic Arts. You, know, you might know EA from you know, FIFA and Need for Speed. And I'm, I'll be joining Microsoft in the spring. And Gaurav, can you introduce yourself? Sure, so I'm Gaurav, and I'm also in the, the master's program at Columbia. Uh, previously worked at a bunch of companies, SlideShare, LinkedIn, Google Nest, and Cloud. And uh, I've invented a user search engine before, and previously worked on building a startup in India, which was the first non-US startup that uh, worked in support. So we have a fair amount of background in computer science, and we're happy to tell you about what computer science is, what kind of things, what kind of applications it has today, and where, what the future looks like. So, yeah. so can somebody say uh, what computer science is? Somebody from the audience. Anybody? Come on, you can make it in the raffle. <laughs> Shows how we we can expect to use computers in the future. Um, 
using stuff that is alternate reality and stuff. It's a cool video, have a look. So now some really cool features. Some of you might have heard of Tesla and self-driving cars. That is something that people are really excited about, um, not just in terms of application of what we can do with computer science and modeling the human brain and all kinds of stuff, but also because self-driving cars are safer and can do much stuff better than the best human drivers. So here's a really cool video that came out uh, by Tesla. And let's have a look. Actually, no human control at all. So, as you can see, it's able to recognize stop signs, red lights, other cars, switch around, and as we'll see eventually, the parallel parks better than most people as well. Some of you might have heard of the term augmented reality. Uh, if not, what it basically is, is whatever you perceive around you through your five senses, augmented reality is adding more stuff onto it so you can change what you perceive in the real world around you. Uh, Magic Leap is one such startup based in Florida, and they're working on uh, some cool applications of this. One of such use cases that they showed was taking students to really cool field trips that might not be usually possible. So here is a cool video of uh, them doing that.
to someone's actual office space in case you get bored. <laughs> add on to that, they are initially working on some sort of a headset, but now where it's gone to is people can just wear a contact lens so they can start to just actually see things around them at a different level. Um, way cooler than just wearing a fake set on your head, I guess. Um, some other cool applications. Uh, this is Nest where I worked at over the summer. Actually, okay. Yeah, this is Skype. So what it does is uh, it lets you talk between two people who speak completely different languages as if you're speaking the same language. It's a really cool demo. something that Skype, Latouche tells me, is already out there. So if you haven't tried it yet, it's pretty cool and it's already out there. You can start using it. Um, Google Nest is something I work at over the summer, which works on smart homes. And it is about how thermostats can intelligently start figuring out what temperature you like your rooms at at certain times. Um, how can we make like fire alarms better? And how can we make sure security cameras are way better in terms of it shouldn't trigger alarms when it's just your cat walking around, or it should trigger alarms when someone's trying to steal something from your port. So here's a quick your phone should know when you're there and when you're not. Know that you like it cool in the morning and cozy at night. It should give you a heads up when something goes wrong or when someone's at the door. So no matter where you are, You'll know everything's okay. What if all the things in your home works together? Cool, so as you can see, there's a bunch of cool things. This is a very small sample of what you can do with computer science, looking at the future. Uh, now jumping back to the reality of current day today, uh, we're gonna walk you through a small example of what you can expect to do at just starting out. So. Pratish is going to walk you through some sample Python code and show you like a quick demo of what code looks like uh, and what the ground reality of it is if you start to step in. Go ahead. Sure. Yeah. So it's a 
such flight. some context on this. Uh, this is basically something that seems very simple, it's just counting words, but this is what you use to build something powerful. For example, what you're seeing on Facebook, what's trending uh, on the left-hand side or on Twitter. Uh, this is a very simplistic version of it. All it sees is what people are posting and seeing all across the internet, what kind of words occur the most, what kind of words occur or are seen the most compared to other stuff. If someone's talking about, say, someone scoring a goal more than, say, some other sport going on or uh, some new car has launched, etc. By seeing the relative counts, they can start to see what people are talking about the most, and then Facebook and Twitter start to trend down on top. Just giving a very basic example of how these things work, but it's basically what people would do on a day-to-day -day basis, but it's harder to do them at scale of, say, billions and billions of lines, or billions and billions of things that people are saying in seconds. So that's where computers make things really cool. So this is Raspberry Pi, uh, which is, is, as Kate mentioned earlier, like a small kind of microchip computer that you can do really cool stuff with. Uh, here is an example <laughs> demo. There are many cool things you can do with it, but which one of them is uh, something we found like a really cool demo of? And uh, here, So how many of you played Connect 4 when you were younger, or even now? Right? It's a fair number. Yeah. So this video shows uh, a Raspberry Pi, which is playing Connect 4. Well, Matt, you can actually apply it against a Raspberry Pi. This comes from pie and chip stack.co.uk. He used the pie along with a meat arms kit and some other pieces and servos to create a very worthwhile opponent. He may be a little slower than you and I, but hey, you can't push brooms, right? So this is a short video on which shows how the Raspberry Pi can be used to play Connect Four. So this is one application. There's like there's thousands of applications which uh, which enable the Raspberry Pi to be a, like, a very powerful computer, and it's not even very expensive. So there was one more that we're gonna that we were gonna show you, but it's a really long video. I thought it was funny because they used a Raspberry Pi to build a microwave that actually cooked Raspberry Pi. Um, <laughs> it's a way longer video, but there's no limit. Like there's no limit to your imagination there. So to sum up, so. What exactly is computer science? What it's about making computers do cool, useful, and productive, productive things for people. What do you want to do in daily life, right? What you and I, simple things. For example, your phone, um, you may call and send text. So simple everyday things which people find useful and innovative. And today, uh, this is where computer science is at. We have, we have, well, we talk with our phones using Siri, we send emails on Gmail, um, we play Pokemon Go and many such other games. There's genetic and genomic research going on. Uh, so this is what we have today, right? And in the future, we can see stuff like self-driving cars, augmented reality, which really takes computer science to the next level. And why do we both uh, love this subject? It's because it basically gives you so much of power, like practically the entire world at your fingertips at your keyboard. And you can make anything happen. So this is what drives us, this is what uh, fascinates us, and this is why we're taking our computer science serious. Got it, you want to add something? Yeah, so we'll be around after the talks as well, so if any questions, personal or general, uh, feel free to ask us. Uh, there are so many things you can do with computer science, it's a very small talk, so it's just a small subsection. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you after as well. Thank you. Thank you, everyone.